Welcome back. Let's play Silent Hill. Hooray! Yes. Voiceless I... Ridge. My favorite. Don't think I need to pick anything up. Uh. Let's go. I have a vague idea where we're supposed to be going, so. <laughs> uh. Game? Forward is the answer. Yeah, the vague idea is probably good enough since you did the optional stuff. Should be uh, reasonably straightforward. We are pretty firmly in the part of the game where all you gotta do is go, f like, run forward, like, straight up. Not even a joke, just kind of run forward. Oh, it's oh, mostly yeah. straight line. <laughs> until, uh, well, maybe not that much of a straight line, but. Move! My move! Until, until the final. The bigger dungeon. issue is the monsters and not so much the navigation. Yes. And, and then you get to the okay. final dungeon and we can tear our hair out collectively, but, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah. Final dungeon's a pain in the butt. Stop. I guess I'll experience it with everyone else when we get there, because I have no idea. I might as well be experiencing it blind because I don't remember it. it uh, don't worry, I'll bitch about it when we get there. It doesn't help that I didn't play this game, I Yikes. watched it. And that was many years ago. I've played this game, and I feel like that final dungeon is something I've only watched. It, it, it's that kind of feeling <sighs> where, like, it doesn't even feel like I really played right it. Way? Yes. You just freaking disassociate from the gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, just like, ah, this isn't real, it cannot hurt me. I'm turning my brain off now. Also known as what every bad horror game LP turns into. Uh, <laughs> this is not real. Whew. Made it. it. Can't hurt me anymore. The gremlin child cannot hurt me. What is my menu? Okay, Welcome I'm to DOS Lighthouse. DOS? I don't know, man. I'm sleepy. I like this you're, camera you're angle. You're already expecting too much from me. Yeah, I guess you were thinking like. I guess you're thinking like another language. I was thinking like DOS, computer DOS. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was going for German. I think it's German. The lighthouse. Oh, hello. Hello? That seems bad. Wait! Whoa, wait a minute. I, I hate when the child disappears Damn, in the thin air on top of the lighthouse. Oh, back down we go! No, why? And that's where you could get the UFO ending. Yes. If if I had remembered to tell <laughs> people where to ah. use the channeling stone, which I didn't. Hey, they can look it up. Yeah. Yeah, it's not You a big can deal. use the channeling stone over there somewhere and get the UFO ending. Objectively speaking, if they're watching this, they can also look it up. Yep. But now they know. You can I mean, get the comedy ending. Real shit. Okay, I think we run back. I don't remember. Yeah, that's what I try to get for being fancy and dodging the damn dog. Oh, how nice. He ran so back for me. Back. That creep's sure to show up at the amusement park pretty soon. Hint, Let me hint. be on time. I love it when old games do something uncharacteristically kind for old games. Yeah. Okay. Question is, should I save, considering we had issues? I'm in. It doesn't hurt Never me hurts. to save. Yeah. Better to save more than less. What the f fuck is that thing? Get out of here! Dude, Better I hate to save and have not needed to save than to not save and have needed to. Mm -hmm. I hate mystery bugs. Bugs? I also hate mystery bugs. Like, I don't know what you are. Get out of my house. You don't pay rent. Please leave. <laughs> you don't pay rent. Let's see. Man, it's gonna we live are in my heading house up there. 
I had a couple of like huge freaking flies in here already and I'm like, how are you getting in here? I'm in an apartment building. My front door opens into a hallway, not the outside. Hmm. Oh, Someone dude. else is leaving the door open. When they get in that hallway, it's game over, dude. Hmm? Lakeside hey, Amusement Lakeside Park. Amusement Park. That's crazy. The amusement park? What? Sounds Fortunately, like the road's closed. No! Hmm. Better, better refund those tickets. Oh, man. It's I there. wanted to ride the roller coaster. Yeah, time for sewers, too. No. Ah, that's why it sucks. Thanks, I hate it. Thanks, I hate it. Meanwhile... I tripped. Cool. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's a pleasant thing to see on the floor. Pick up the sink. No. Harry says. I love how this 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 area is sewer map connecting to the amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> well, it knows what it is. It's also fairly straightforward, thankfully. Yeah. Oh, so this isn't the part that sucks. No, not at all. Hey. I mean, maybe a little bit, but. <laughs> Oh, goodness. And then it goes up. Yes. So I did a funny thing where I just didn't uh, change the time that's set on one of my clocks. So I still have one of my clocks on Eastern time and the other clocks are on my actual <laughs> time zone. So the, my, my car has like a computer, like a, it's a newer car. So it's got the computer component to it. So it's got like a digital clock instead of, or I guess there'd be a digital clock anyways, but it's got like a eh? computerized clock instead of just a digital clock. And I don't know how to change it, so it's been perpetually 20 minutes ahead. Oh. So, so I always plan my day around what time my clock in my car is going to say, so I know I'm not running late. So like, ah. when, my, when my computer clock says 6.45, I know like, all right, I actually got 20 minutes to get to work. <laughs> oh, there we go. Duh. And for me, I know how to change this clock, and it, it's actually not even laziness. It was partially just like, you know, I, I can just like, while I'm adjusting to being in a new time zone, I can just have a clock that like actually says my old time zone. So it's not as hard to parse when people are going to be around for things. That's kind of you. OK. Oh, ah, children, children. I don't know if I'd say it's kind, it's just like, okay, I don't have to think as much about, like, the, like, two-hour difference. Hey, man. Kindness to yourself is still kind. Ah! Be gone, child. Be gone. Get. <laughs> nope. Don't know if there's a map around here. Do not believe so. Mostly because you're rolling up to some of the more important stuff anyways, so. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, this place is pretty confusing. Uh, as far as I recall, there's not actually even any pickups here. It is straight up just a run to the boss. There we go. Everyone take note of this location for a future game. The ice cream store? Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, but the whole ass amusement park, technically. Yeah. Uh, Mind you, it'll be in a completely different part of town, but, you know, fuck that, I guess. <laughs> probably not that much of a spoiler to just say that, like, the third game opens in the amusement park. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Ah. Uh. Hello, Millie. You care to join us for some Silent Hill? I am looking for the merry-go-round. That is that is correct. Hi, Millie. Is it? There it is. Yep. 
don't want the horses. I just saved it, so. We are joined by a Millie. It. Say hello, Millie. A woo! A woo! That's not good. Oh no. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Yep. That's not good. Hello. I always thought this fight was really creepy. Uh, Ow! I don't remember. We did return to the hospital, right? I don't remember. Uh... Can you check your inventory real quick? <laughs> Thank you, Harry. Uh, yeah, we have that. Okay, yeah, okay. Whew. Don't yep. shoot me! Strapped. You can just shoot her or, you know, hit her with something until she dies. But that changes the ending. You get the not bad ending. The game calls Simple. it the good ending. Wake up! If you if, if you do everything else and then kill her, you get the good ending. Simple. And then if you do this, Harry. good plus or something like that. Yeah. What happened? Anyway, boss fight's over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take care of you. It's that easy. Unless you actually do the fight, then it sucks. But why did they take whatever. your daughter? I, you're asking the wrong Why guy. Are... I'm not sure myself. But, you know, Cheryl isn't my biological daughter. I actually haven't told her yet. Oops. She probably already knows anyway, though. We found her abandoned on the side of the highway. Nobody knew where she came from. We didn't have any kids of our own. My wife was sick. And it didn't look like she was getting any better. So we took Cheryl in. So in that case... There might be some connection between Cheryl and this town. Huh. So what do you do now? Cheryl is my daughter. I will save her. <laughs> Thank you. No matter what. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. <laughs> oh, man. Cheryl is my daughter. We were aware. I, I've been following that, Harry. Thank you. I do like that, that detail about, uh, I think it's the, in the opening cutscene, like the opening movie. That detail is technically foreshadowed in that, because there's like I a shot of show. holding the baby. So. Hold it right there. That's mm -hmm. cool. I don't know who you are, or what you're trying to do, and I don't care. Just one thing. Let Cheryl go. That's all I ask. What? She can use the force? Oh, man, I just got force push, dude. Damn. <laughs> and now it's a uh, force uh, force field. What is this? What is that? Triangle. The Flaros. The Triforce? Like a Millennium Puzzle. No, it's not the Millennium Puzzle. There's no Pharaoh in there. You don't know that. You didn't play this game before. You, you know what? You make a good point. Oh, we just killed a child. Well, <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe not. Where's Cheryl? Where is Cheryl? Give me back Where? my daughter. Where is she? We meet at last, Alessa. Oh. <gasps> not Mother Teresa. Alia Gillespie? Where's Cheryl? Where is she? Alessa. 
This is the end of your little game. Mama? Huh? Could she be... You've been a ghastly little pest, haven't you, Alessa? I was careless. Thinking you couldn't escape from our spell. But Mommy didn't know how much you'd grown. That's why I couldn't catch you all by myself. But what a pity, yes? Now you're half indebted to this man for his help. Hey, what are you talking about? Alessa, my dear little girl, there is one thing left I need you to do for me. Die. No! Get away from me! Ah, uh, beautiful Bad acting. Girl. Well, that happened. True. Oh, hi. Hello. She's twitching. You all right there? Uh, Sorry. I don't, I, I... Lisa. Hey. What happened? Where's Alessa and Dahlia? Harry, listen. What? Something you said before has been bothering me. Oh? I just can't get it out of my head. What is it, Lisa? So I went to look in the basement. Even though I was scared as hell. Like you said, there were these creepy rooms. But nothing really unusual down there. But while I was down there, I got this weird feeling. Like I'd been there before. Like something happened there. But I can't quite remember somehow. What was it? Harry, help me. I'm so scared. I can't take this. It's only a temporary thing. You're in shock from when you were knocked out. Don't fret about it. You'll remember after a while. No. You don't understand. Wait! Where do you think you're going? Yeah, what's that? That sound. It's coming from the basement. The basement. Okay. Welcome to the other worst part of this game. I'm gonna save it real quick if I can aim. That's hard. Uh huh. I've been not interrupting oh, the plot, but when we kind of were talking about like how the fight with Sybil sucks if you don't just have the fluid to throw on her, I was thinking like, yeah, even in the Silent Hill game I played, it's like one of the bosses that did the most damage to me in my first playthrough was like in a game with tons of horrible monsters. The one that I'm did some of the most damage to me was just dude with a gun. What happened? Yo, let's go. <laughs> what could be making things like this? I have a feeling if I take the elevator down, I'll find it. Thanks, Harry. Uh, this dungeon, or whatever you want to call it, I guess. Cheryl. Uh, it's called Nowhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Suitably eerie for uh, something so eerie. Uh, it's uh, also probably more confusing than the sewers. Yeah, and uh, I, I don't believe you get a map at all. Nope. Uh, you'll notice as we go through, it's basically just a distorted amalgamation of various things we've seen throughout the game. Uh, a lot of hospital rooms and weird shit like that, so... Fantastic. Very liminal. 
Yeah, actually. Weirdly, because that's... Maybe not strictly speaking, but I think that as a concept, yeah. at least was popular a lot. Popular, made popular. Fuck me. Uh, you know, more recently. So, interesting to look back and be able to apply that kind of terminology. Another key. Oh yeah, no, it, there's puzzles too. I hope you didn't like maps. You don't need it. Of course not. Yeah, uh, when I did my practice run, I had a, uh, a... Hello? I don't like it. Tee colon three? Phallic. Anyway, I had a, a walkthrough open to tell me what I needed to do. So, so uh, yeah, so you'll notice, uh, rooms like, uh, this are familiar of other places we've seen. I believe this mirrors the little antique shop where you climb in that hole in the wall. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah, I remember that. Uh, and then, like, one of those is a hospital room, and I think two of those were hospital rooms, actually. So it's literally just modified versions of things we've seen. Yeah. Which is Love that for us. pretty cool uh, aesthetically. Also, nurses. Uh, very cool aesthetically. Uh, mechanically, not so great. Plus nurses. Plus, plus nurses. Not cool mechanically, plus nurses. It's <laughs> a great episode title right there. Just uh, call it plus. Let's play Silent Hill part whatever, plus nurses. Yeah. yeah. The, like, the saddest part is, like, this would be a great dungeon for me to start diving into, like, plot talk, but we haven't seen all the twists yet, so I can't talk about shit! <laughs> Sadness. Back in the school. I'm just sitting here like, oh, there's so much I can talk about. You know, I can recap so many things and explain so many things in a, in a certain point of view. <laughs> go home. Go home. Damn. You know what? My bad. I'm out. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of you. Literally, the game was just like, get lost, dude. Yeah, I know. Game's like, stop. <laughs> or it's like, you've been playing for a while. I think you should take a break. So he's hitting you with the Nintendo Wii, dude. Okay, I've been playing for an hour. Why don't you take a break and go outside? I mean, first it, first it tells you to go home, and then it tells you to drop dead. It needs to make up its mind. Does it want me to go home and then drop dead? Does it want me to drop dead at home? Or is it reading my mind at the end of a shift at work? Go home, drop dead. Game plan. Perhaps it's all of them at once. Tell me to go home, tell me to drop dead, because I know that's what I want. Okay, let's go back here. It was this room? Uh, I, I, I did praise yeah. this game earlier, uh, episodes ago at this point, about... Uh, how I think the the, the kind of cheesy, not great acting kind of nails this particular atmosphere, but I couldn't even help myself doing that one line. Like, Cheryl is my daughter. Like, all right, man. You know what? Calm down. <laughs> I mean, he's been saying it the whole game. It's like, we know, man. We know. I, I, I'm under the impression, I've always been under the impression that it was supposed to be like a, you know, uh, kind of like a, he goes over this whole speech about it, he's like, oh, we found her on the side of the road or whatever, and adopted her or whatever the fuck, right? And then he's like, but she's my daughter, and I, I imagine it was supposed to be like a she's, but she's still my daughter, I don't care kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But it does not come across that way at all. Yeah, and it is, it is hysterical. She's my daughter. I think this. Okay, man. All right, man. We know. Yeah, it's long. Out of all the things I could not. Out of all the things someone could reasonably not understand about this plot, I think we understand that part. That part we've got. Oh, this puzzle blows. There is a slate. I don't like it. Well, I already know the answer to it, so... Perfect. Jammed. Um, I do love... Practice. I do love oh. uh, when uh, 
people describe this game's plot, and they're like, yeah, it's a father in a scary town looking for his daughter, and it's like, well, yes, but no. Yes, and... Oh, but... this thing, okay. I think I remember seeing that before. So that is the best way to describe it to someone who doesn't know anything about it, because you're not spoiling anything. Yeah, yeah, it is a good lead in. It's also just kind of like you're 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 being technically correct right now. Hey, my headset might Negro. die. Uh, oh no! Cancer. Uh, Aries. No, I'm a Scorpio actually. Pisces. I think I'm a Scorpio, anyways. Let's see. Okay, so this is so a... much says the, to the guy who doesn't know anything about astrology. Yeah, so it's <laughs> uh, I, I just don't say that to be a jerk. Does this tell really, us what the thing is? Really, really hit me with the yeah, that makes perfect sense. Like you don't know. <laughs> I, I I really don't. I'm just like, I don't know anything about. I, I went. I, I took a vacation. Uh, this year, it's the year we recorded stars. this. At least I don't know. The, whatever. The year we recorded this. Figure out which year I'm talking about. Fuck you. <laughs> I think this is actually coming out this year so should be fine anyway uh i took a vacation this year and i went out to see friends in a different state and uh my buddy my buddy's girlfriend Gemini. like asked me a bunch of questions about my like astrology shit like what's your birth sign and then she looked up like all the associated information that i don't understand mm -hmm. and it was just rattling off like personality traits and i'm like wow I'm uncomfortable, that is correct. I also still don't believe in this stuff, but also, whatever. Meh. Like, I didn't, I didn't say that, I was just sitting there like, yeah, that's technically, that's technically true. Stop. But in my head, it's like, I don't I don't, I don't, this does not correlate to me at all. Yeah, I get that. Because I have had someone do my stuff as well, and I'm like, I, I, I feel like some of these things are correct. But I don't think they're correct just because I was born under this. Yeah. It's like dark it's not. It's, you're not correct because I'm a Scorpio. You're just correct because that's who I am. Yeah. Well, the thing I've I've heard mentioned about that sort of thing is that a lot of it is like just vague enough to kind of be able to apply if you think about it. it in some respects, it's true. Like, the, but I will also give some. Hey, I'll read that in a second. Okay. I will give some credit. Um. She did also say some pretty specific, like, traits that I have that are correct. So it kind of went both ways, but I still just think, like, okay, that's just, like, a coincidence or something. Or maybe it's statistically true, but not really, like, a applicable thing, you know? Like, not practically applicable. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> names engraved on a lithograph, the Grim Reaper's List. Yes, the head count is set, young and old lined up in order of age. And the pathway opens, awaiting them. The frenzied uproar, the feast of death. Oh, scary. Okay, so now we go back over here to this. And then we just, uh, we do it in order of age. We just take the first letter of each, uh... Of each a name and L spell. Oh, sorry. Go yep. ahead. <laughs> uh, a A L E R T. Alert. 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 Yep. And Who is alert? Just step back for just one uh, more second. Uh, I tell that story not because it annoyed me. I was totally on board with that happened. Like that whole, like someone reading my star signs and shit. I just think it's funny. Yeah, you, you can believe what you want to believe. If, I just don't. <laughs> if it's your thing, it's your thing. But it's not my thing, and I tell everyone that. I'm just like, Meh. like. I mean, that that's stuff th is cool enough as long as you don't uh, take it, it, it too seriously and like make major it, life decisions it, it, or it, choices it goes, of who to associate. It with. goes. From, it goes from like fun hobby thing to scary when people start making their life choices based yeah. on it. Like, what are you doing? Like, okay. Let's let's take a step or, back here. Or it, it gets really sad when they like choose who to associate with based on like applicable compatible star signs, and I'm like, bro, bro, nah. <laughs> as long as they're not doing that, it's Harry? fine. Harry, Lisa, what's the Lisa? Lisa? I get it now. 
okay. Why I'm still alive even though everyone else is dead. I'm not the only one who's still walking around. I mean, Harry's right here. Them. I just hadn't noticed it before. Lisa. Stay by me, Harry. Please. I'm so scared. Help me. Save me from them. Please. Harry. in my room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> also applicable to this situation as well, but more oh, so gosh. the spider that just <laughs> comes down <laughs> right next to my face. I'm like, oh, hello. Lisa. Actually, really sad though. Very yeah. sad. Yes, very sad. And she's gone. She's gone. Sad. Be right back. Okay. Man's going through it right now. <laughs> uh, asked doctor to let me quit being in charge of that patient. It's too weird. Still alive, but with wounds that won't heal. The doctor I quit won't work at that hospital anymore. The room is filled with insects. Even with doors and windows shut, they get in despite me. To the hospital. Feeling bad, need to throw up, but nothing comes out. I'm vomiting only bile. Blood and pus flow from the bathroom faucet. I try to stop it, but it won't turn off. Need a drug. <laughs> need a drug. Excuse me. That's a screenshot right there. <laughs> Help me. Wouldn't it be funny if the YouTube thumbnail was that? This is a neat drug. <laughs> oh, we can make that happen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, she's gone. Uh. Don't worry, if that's confusing to anybody, it will make sense. It might not directly make sense, but I'll make it make sense. I know. Also, nice of the game to continue playing the sad but really banger song. That's a great song. How the, serendipitous so, is that? That as soon as like this, the fucking spider comes in. Dude. The spider comes in right as this thing is happening while we're recording. I thought that was you just reacting to the game because her face started like dripping blood right as you did that. I know. Like, oh, that's why like, I was like, how perfect? How perfect could that be? Damn, dude, that's crazy. That's funny. Uh, well, that spider's gone now. Don't know. Yo, salute oh, yeah. the fallen soldier. Yeah, he uh, he got a real reaction out of me just in the nick of time. I was laying in bed, and this the spider just does the thing where like it's dangling by a web and it comes out right in front of me. Oh wait, 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 wait. I'm like, oh no, please go away. Uh, which door was it? Yeah, I'm all for spiders. They you take care of insects, you make sure that the bad ones and the annoying ones stay away, but if you're in the house... You're not anymore. If you want to be a spider in my house, you better stay in the fucking corner. Look, I have one rule. You're perfectly fine until you're in my house. Then you're not fine anymore. Trust me. That's not just spiders, that's any guest. Ooh. Stay out of my house. I don't want guests. <laughs> ah. Haggis. The Haggis key. I got it. Nah. I eh. put up the beware of dog sign in front of my house. Not because my dogs are vicious. They're very good. But no one needs to know that. They might start wanting to come over. <laughs> and why would I want to entertain? I don't want to host. I don't have a big enough house to host people, dude. Haggis host. down here. I don't want to get. I gotta host people. I gotta give them food. I gotta give them water and places to sit. Might as well just. I barely did it to my dogs, man. Damn. That's not true. 
the wreck. Uh, that elevator sounds very safe. I know. Oh, don't worry. That's just the uh, the music playing over the speakers. <laughs> Please hold it. It's just like pure industrial music. <laughs> Wait, you think the elevators are going to play soothing music in Silent Hill? No, but I do I do like the, the, the image that, that's all conjured up in my head of like nine inch nails coming on while you're in the elevator. You just wait yeah. in the casual elevator and it starts playing closer. <laughs> Very unnerved. <laughs> so there, oh, yeah. like, I've been imagining like a corporate office elevator too. So you're going up to talk to like some big wig executive, and it's just <laughs> going. Yeah, and you're like, and that's the only elevator that plays anything besides uh, like uh, white noise music. I, I pictured it. Funny is, it's the only elevator in the building. So ah, uh, that's true. You're just sitting there like everyone you got the receptionist in the elevator and you got like two of the it guys and you got like a big wig in the elevator and there's just some like personal assistant sitting in there like yep that this is fine Ooh, what's this custom mercury i don't know but the game wants you to think it's real ominous okay I mean, Ring of Contract does sound pretty ominous. To be fair, I feel like Crest of Mercury also sounds kind of ominous. Ominous. Depends on what kind of mercury it's a crest of. <laughs> you hold the crest and it just turns the liquid in your head. Ominous. Ominous? Ominous. Do, 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 do. Ominous. Do, 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 do. do, do. Ominous. I have the ammo to spare. So. Do these things? Do these ones have more health, or are you just legitimately doing less damage with bullets than with a pickaxe? The pickaxe does more damage than the handgun. Yeah. 155. Let's switch back to that. To be honest, guns are basically only really good for boss fights in this game. Yeah. I think you've said that before. It's crazy. Yeah. Why would I repeat the same factual information? <laughs> because it's true. And definitely not because it's been weeks. Nah. What do you mean? Uh, we recorded us the same night we recorded the last one. Absolutely. We're, we're definitely recording this the same night we've recorded all the episodes. Oh yeah, shotgun in the whole game, straight through. Yeah. Very, no, very, very realistically. Oh my god. I, <laughs> my eyes are literally <laughs> just falling out of my sockets. Oh, I, I can't see anymore, man. I, I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore, man. They're all blending together. Let's see. That's Play why I went, oh gosh. Anything. Not because there was a spider, because I can't I see. I can't see. I don't think I have anything to get that out with right now. Nope. Okay. It is full of electricity, and I cannot get it. It's full of electricity. There's nothing down here. Okay. Nothing. Need some industrial rubber gloves. I need something. I just don't remember what. <gasps> bullet. Anything else in here? More bullet? A camera? True. Camera obscura? No. Ghost. Not quite that. Okay. 
I have to remember that electricity thing is on the second floor. Oh, that's right. This puzzle. A light to the future. A light the future? The light illuminating the darkness. Oh. What's it talking about, man? No idea. I mean, I can't use it here. How illuminating! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't what me. <laughs> you know what you did. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, so we basically have to repeat these um, symbols on the doors here. So let's see. Triangle, arrow, and a carrot, I guess. You know what? I'm going to make this easy on myself and just take a screenshot. <laughs> it's, it's like a bottom, bottom right corner, full... Uh, right triangle and arrow okay i mean that bottom left one is kind of like an arrow too it just has like the point disconnected from the line oh Ge yeah it's a i see geometry that's my least favorite subject geometry is not easy kids Dude, I can barely keep up with numbers, and then you put them on a square, and I just lose my shit. And then you have to prove that they're there, and okay. you're not just like, it's and not proof, one. just across bookmark Arch. image. Let's see. Like, listen, teacher, man, you can't even convince me numbers are real, let alone shapes and shapes and numbers together. Numbers? Speaking of numbers that aren't real, imaginary numbers... Dun, 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 dun. Numbers. Imaginary numbers? That's a real thing. Yep. Yep. I. I. It's a real thing. Imaginary numbers. Holy fuck. Yep. <laughs> just blew your mind, didn't we? Um... An imaginary number is a real number multiplied by the imaginary <laughs> unit I, which is defined by its property I squared equals negative one. Fuck me, dude. I'm glad Ricky is in here right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, he'd be going <laughs> off Ricky. on imaginary numbers right now. Holy shit, what am I reading? All powers of I assume values from the blue area. Ricky, I if you're watching this in the comments, just post a bunch I of things about negative, I. I had a negative... I zero? I've never seen a zero be a fucking... What are those things called? With little floaty numbers above another number. X, not an exponent. Look no. at the book. Look at it. I is a fourth root of unity? What does that even mean? <laughs> Recky, tell us in the comments what that means. Hello? The square of an imaginary number BI oh. is okay, negative fine. B squared. For example, 5i is an imaginary number. Its <laughs> square is negative 25. By definition, zero is considered to be both real and imaginary. Fuck off. <laughs> Brooke goes down a hole on imaginary numbers for the rest of the episode. Originally, originally coined in the 17th century as a derogatory term in regards fictitious or useless, the concept gained a wide acceptance following the work of some other guy. Some other guys. Imaginary number bi can be added to a real number a to form complex number of the form a plus bi, where the real numbers are real numbers a and b are called respectively the real part and the imaginary part of the complex number. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate this subject, dude. 
This shit sucks. I think it's in here. Square roots? Oh, I'm out. Fuck this. No, 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 no. I ain't having this. This is the real horror. You are now being reminded that uh, in Kingdom Hearts, characters' names, like organization names, are their name rearranged with an X. And the whole deal with one of the characters was that the joke is that their name is actually just number I. Let's see. 90 degree rotations in the complex plane? What does it got to do with our imaginary numbers? See also negative one? Alright. You got me. I gotta know. Okay. Yo, it's straight up just a page on the negative one. Mathematics negative one is the eh, additive eh, inverse of no. one. You saved the game! <laughs> this is my favorite Wikipedia page, I think. <laughs> Oh, okay. that's funny. Alright, it's been 45 minutes, so we're just gonna stop. Yo, I'm gonna go read about in software <laughs> development. Negative one is a common initial value. Fuck me! Get me out! Yeah, we should be able to finish it in the next video, because we're getting pretty close to the ending, so... It's true. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So next time, we'll continue traversing nowhere. Bye. And Brute will learn more about imaginary numbers. Yeah.